Hey there, today I'm going to talk through some of the benefits of using segment lists in Plus This to better split test your emails and on report. Um, split testing 50-50 can be risky. Essentially, you're sending half of your contacts the worst of two emails, which isn't always the best idea. Maybe you want to test different color palettes in your email or see which product image drives more traffic to your website. But sending 5,000 of your 10,000 contacts an email that could potentially not perform well at all might end up with you actually losing traffic or losing money. So rather than even split testing, plus this is segment list tool allows you to test in weighted amounts. So you can send maybe 500 of those 10,000 contacts that new product image. And you know, if it performs well, then your next set of emails promoting your product can have 2,000 of your 10,000 contacts receiving that product image, and so on and so forth. Rather than risking half of your client base receiving something that might not perform well, you can test in smaller segments. So here's a quick example. Let's say we're wanting to test out different product images in a current campaign to see which one drives more traffic to our website. So I've got two emails that I want to send. They're otherwise the same, but the product photo is different. And I want 75% of the people to see the first and 25% of the email to on only see the second. So right here, we have our first email. I just have this one titled image one and it's for a coffee shop and the photo right here is just of a coffee. Now our second image that we have, this is the one we want 25% of people to see, is going to be this coffee kit. So essentially we're trying to see which one drives more traffic to our website. So maybe we have a call to action beneath this or a link to our website and we can add some tracking codes on it to see which one drives more. Now our conditions for those are going to be from tags and these tags are if they are image one or image two. So if they have the tag for image one, they're gonna go to that image one email um, if they don't, then they're going to go through that image two condition and they'll get that image two email. Now, this is where plus this segment list comes into play. You're going to go in and you're going to choose the tags you want to apply to your different segments. So our first segment is going to be image one tag. So anybody who has that first segment is going to be image one and we want 75% of the contacts to have that tag. And again, it's going to randomly apply anybody from that list to that tag. So 75% of them are going to be image one. Our second one will be image two and 25% of our contacts will receive that tag. Of course, your weight total should be 100%. I feel like that's pretty obvious, but you can also add other segments if you want. Um, so you could do up to as many as you would like. You could do four segments however you want to split test your email. You can also do it as just even if you'd like, but the point of this usually is to test different amounts. So again, we're doing 75% and 25%. And you can also choose if you wanna run contacts from your entire database or you can choose them from a tag. So you could split test from a specific list. So maybe you just wanna do prospects, not actual customers or partners. So you could do that. And essentially, if you chose prospects for this tag, then 75% of your product prospects would receive the image one tag and 70 or 25%, sorry, would uh, receive the image two tag. You can also enable scheduling if you'd like. You're gonna save that tool and then you can just initiate the processing. So again, when you go back into your campaign, 75% of people are going to have that image one tag. So 75% of them should be receiving this email, whereas 25% of them are gonna be receiving this email. Again, you could test a million different things with this. You could test subject lines, colors, branding, time of the day you send the email, animations or videos, call to actions, really whatever you want. 
So if you have any questions on how to use segment lists, feel free to reach out.